What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be looking at the Ignite set and we're also going to be looking at the Michael Jordan set. And obviously we're going to be saying which is worth it and which isn't. It's mad, it's mad. Like we are at the very start of June, this time last year we were literally getting Dark Matters for 6000 MT and the game mode is starting to come alive. This time this year the game mode is even more dead than ever. Like Dark Matters for 6000 MT last year lads. I mean that we're getting dark matters for 6k MT, but um, yeah, that's uh, obviously it is what it is, and now we are still getting 150k opals. Um, that's kind of mad. But uh, yeah, let's take a look first at the Opals. So first player is Boban. Boban is 126k. He comes with 23 total badges, almost all of them on Hall of Fame. 79 three ball, got hot zones everywhere. He's actually not terrible. You find a way to give him like catch and shoot and corner specialist, he can compete with the Giants. Although height doesn't mean everything. You are getting killed by Giants. Like an 80 speed Boban is not terrible. Um, It's honestly not. Um. But yeah, I don't think he's terrible. I think you could definitely get worse cards than this. Um, well, he's, he's still not the greatest. He's better than expected. I thought we were getting in the 60 speed. But at the same time, like, we are in June. We are in June. So, yeah, he's not up to much. He's really not up to much. So I'll say, like, no, he's not worth 100... What, what am I talking about? None of these guys are worth 100k. Desmond Bain, 6 foot 5 for 80k. Um, is he the worst player in the world? No. Again, decent enough release. Normal leaner. Jordan dribble style. Desmond Bain size up. So he's all the same six as his normal card. Except they just bumped up the release. Um, and he is not... He is not great. I will say it. He is not great. For 84k, he is not worth it. Although, at the same time, there are not that many good cards you can buy in this game, even for cheaper than that. Now, you got 157k for Herb Jones. I mean, okay. Like, he's 157k. The release is fine. The dribble style is LeBron. They gave a card, LeBron dribbles out in June and wanted to play 160k for him my god i get it i get it 2k want to bump up the price so that they can charge the same vc price as always for these cards to lock in but come on he's not up to much he's not up to much use the sapphire and the logo gauntlet his release is good like his release is fine his defense is really really good i guess but like lebron dribble style he's literally he might as well have basic at this stage in the game he's not gonna do anything on the ball Kobe White, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, um, barely passable defense, defense badges like anchor, 94 feet, clamps, right to gripper, I'm guessing you got every badge on Herb Jones defensively at least, everyone that matters, like Herb Jones is good, just 150k is ludicrous to pay for him, and like barely passable defense, decent shooting, 6'5", six, 6'5", five, six, five wingspan, we have a billion and one point guards to do the exact same thing but are just better Kyrie dribble style Kobe white size up he's his own free throw his own release which is not great he's got the probably Jamal behind the back with the normal leaner none of these guys are good also shout out to Mick Talks Hoops if you guys do want to subscribe to that <laughs> clicked on the wrong tab right there the one thing I will say though is that this card's really good this free Michael Jordan's really good like 97 speed 9 acceleration acceleration doesn't mean anything if you look at this card, he's a 94 three ball. MJ fade, MJ release on very quick. Which look, it's not the best thing in the world, but this guy is not going to play that much different than any of the 99s. This is the first time like the free card is actually good, and I get it. He's only got some gold shooting badges, and he does leave a little bit to be desired on the defensive end. Oh no, a movable force. They didn't give a movable force I just did not realize that. No, he's not going to be comparable to the 99s. He's going to be good though. Like, he's actually going to be good. Like, I am very pleasantly surprised at that free Michael Jordan. 
he's not like he's not going to be like brilliant but he's not going to be terrible so just going to look at the jordans first before we go over to dark matters because like look they are a big reason why people are going to be looking for this video so we're going to look at the jordans so obviously this jordan here i'm guessing comes with a movable enforcer no he doesn't wow they're the same card what is the difference between these two cards as far as half badges go because they're i know their defense is almost identical i'm saying not defense their stats so the only difference is is that you get catch and shoot agent agent three is on half or something i guess um you get off ball pest on half we're at a seven one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, sorry, there's five shootings. Ten does the exact same. I can't believe they lowered Michael Jordan's on ball steal from 98 to 50 this year. Then you've got Bobby Jones, who uh, still doesn't have. They didn't change any of his 10 does this year. The funny thing with Bobby Jones, obviously, he's got 99 every defensive stat, so he's going to be like a Dennis Rodman. And his release is actually pretty decent. Because instead of giving him Dwight Howard, Markel Fultz, which is a set shot. They gave him Mark L. Fultz, Dwight Howard. They just flipped them, which is actually not terrible. He's still got the normal leaner. He's going to dribble the ball pretty well. He's going to curry slide. He's actually going to be one of the better lockdowns in the game. So he's surprisingly good. They literally flipped the release, which is interesting at least. Why Dwight Upper? Like, I don't know how bad the Dwight Upper is, but I just know that Dwight Bass is really not good. Jameer Nelson, it's obviously not that bad then. I think it's a good runner test base, so that should be a good release. Okay, Michael Jordan may as well be 99 everything. So you see all these Michael Jordan cards, him, all these 99 Michael Jordans, the previous ones and the hundreds, they're going to be the exact same. Michael Jordan are very quick, Stevie Sizer, Pro 2, yeah, they're all going to be the exact same. So you're going to, it doesn't really matter what position you get them in, they're all the exact same card as we have previously. 100 overall Jordan, Jordan are very quick. Actually, is there Kyrie dribble style on these ones? No, there's Jordan dribble style on these ones. Wow. Okay, so that was the difference then. Was it between the 100 overall and the 90? Yeah. So the difference between the 100 overall and the 99s is that the 99s get Jordan dribble style and the 100 overalls get Kyrie. But, like, these are the same card. These are literally the... I'm pretty sure... We've literally... Like, we've all... Everyone complained about 2K22 when we saw a million different versions of the same card. But there was always something different about them. They always had different stats. They had different player builds. Sometimes they have different animations, whereas these are literally the same card. Oh, you get a plus one post-up. Ooh, 10 extra halves, though. I don't know why I said that like it means anything. You're never going to see the card anyway. And then you've got Michael Jordan as well. Um, Goat Jordan gets Paddy Mills base. Yeah, to be expected be expected and now we're going to look at the dark matter cards and the jalen brown card or lonzo that you're going to pull every single time so, you know what am i talking about you're probably going to pull jalen brown or blake griffin you're just not going to get you so oh they gave you a 73 3 is is it's june it's june like we're, we're in june why does yao have a 73 3 ball Usually a gambling card. It's June. What are they doing? Like, even if you get this card. 25 shot IQ genuinely does not matter. He's got 36 total badges. He's a dark matter with 36 total badges. Or 44 next gen. With a 73 three ball. In June. In June. This is June. Jalen Brown, 98, like basically 99 in every stat. Uh, you know Jimmy Butler, you know Vince Carter. He's going to be the exact same card as those guys. Jordan Dribble style, Jalen Brown are very quick. Like, look, he's not terrible. But he's no different to this card here. Like, you're not... Oh, yeah, sorry. Release on very quick, right and quick. That's the only difference. That is the only difference you're going to notice between these cards. And if you got this Jalen Brown, I'm pretty sure you could have got him for free during the Easter event. If you did, you're not going to notice the difference. Then there is Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball is 6'6", six, six, what a 6'7", wingspan. He has got a 97 three ball, 97 speed, 97 acceleration. Really, really good defensive stats. Uh, he's got Lonzo release, which is 
okay, I think. I think Lonzo released okay. Nothing beats the original Lonzo ball release where he was releasing the ball from the wrong side of his head, from the left side of his head. In 2K, that release was always insane. 897B, 97 acceleration, 97 three ball. They just gave him like 97 every stat. He's not bad. He's really, really not bad. He's a pretty good card. Um, if you get him, you're okay. And if you get Blake Griffin, power forward, small forward, the borderline unusable release. He's got the hardened shuffle, but he's too heavy to do the hardened shuffle. He's six foot nine, so we might be able to do it. If you go a bit other in range, like he just genuinely looks the same as the Opal. And like this Opal, you might be able to have this Opal for free. Is the Opal small four power four two? Yeah. His stats are good though. It's just Blake Griffin is Blake Griffin. That's the problem, is he's not gonna be great. And you got the 100 overall, David Robinson. D Rob on very quick. You've got Kyrie Irving dribble style, pro two leaner. He's under 235, which means he's going to be able to spam whatever behind the back. He's under 245, which means he's going to be able to spam whatever behind the back he has. Look, he's a good center. You're just never going to see him. Unless you are fully gambling addict and you're buying those $50 packs, then there's like a 1 in 15 chance of seeing him. Um, if you see a 100 overall, it's probably a 1 in 80 chance of seeing him. But um, yeah, we are looking at a set right here where none of these guys are worth picking up. Uh, honestly, for 38 points, Jordan's worth getting. But none of these guys are worth picking up. As good as Bobby Jones is, he's not worth playing online for. Um, none of these Dark Matters are worth locking in 500k for. And none of these higher Jordans are worth it. Because look, other than a movable enforcer, this Jordan is going to play the exact same as all the Dark Matters. And unless, like, that one badge having it, you might lose one game that you might have won. Just honestly, just get this Michael Jordan. At least this one's good and it's free. The rest of these cards are legitimately, like obviously this Jordan's great, but like half of these cards are scrubs and you don't want to gamble and my God, Friday content sucks.